back to this brand new build, everyone. In this one, we're going to be turning this Galaxy class ship into my version of a Nebula class. Okay, so I got one of my very old Enterprise D models here. Uh, so I'm going to be altering it. And we all know, like the, it had the upswept uh, arms here going to the warp engines. It's going to be this way around. I guess what we can do. Oh, and it's got uh, the wiring here still coming out. I might be able to utilize those. If not. I'll have to pop this all whole section out and rewire it, which is probably what I'm going to have to do. Uh, most of the decals are still on, which is good. So, yeah, okay. One thing I want to do here is to uh, get rid of all these old wiring here. This in here is the worst. Let me see what I did here. And if, if you don't want to spray the insides, you can tin foil it. But it looks really quite messy. So, so all this is going to come out. Since it's a nebula class, the sections aren't going to come apart. So that's going to, this plug's going to go. All this incandescent lighting, by the way. This is like over 25 years ago. I put those in. All of this got to go. Everything's got to be cleaned right out. There goes that whole gross looking pile of incandescence. I'm going to put some brand new LEDs in. There we go. Looks good. Don't have to worry about spraying the silver inside. Obviously you can see it's already done. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit of drilling out here. Some of the windows here that I just painted black. I'm going to drill those out. Uh, got to get rid of this. I got some really good glue on there. So I got to, I'm probably going to have to cut around it and then pop it off. All right, I went online and I got uh, photos of the actual studio model. Uh, looks like that model's seen better days. Um, so. So I see, I'm going to have to build this from scratch, this section here, and this here is going to have to be created from scratch. That's actually really, really simple. Um, yeah, there's only a few things that I have to make from scratch, but uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this off. In this area here. So these engines, or the uh, struts here, can be taken off. And these two halves go together. So this is going to remain the top. That's going to remain the bottom. Turn them upside down. But once I do that, I'm going to have to make... Um, uh, a section here between the two struts here so it'll be a plastic sheet going there and then the engines will be moved up here put up here um, now you can see they basically sit on top of the engineering hull they don't they, they don't groove in the side there or anything they slip on top I'll probably have to cut this off a little bit here and for it to fit right down snug on top of the hull here and then I'll have to do something for the primary hull when it fits on here <sighs> hey we got a visitor so it'll be something like this well, yeah and I might have to fill all that in, make a sheet to put on there, 
to be able to fit here. And it's going to be a lot of work, but it'll work, it'll work. Before I want to get that done, I want to get this all off. So I'll have to um, use my Dremel, cut the glue off around there so I can pop this stuff off. Probably, I'm not going to worry about filling in the holes because it's, it's all going to be filled over with uh, another hull detailing. So let's get that cut off. Alright, got my Dremel here. Let's go, let's cut this out. That's all ready to go for lighting. Well, almost. I just gotta do some more drilling out of holes here and stuff. But other than that, this thing is pretty much ready for lighting. The top there is ready for lighting. So I got uh, those tins ready to go. And just need to cut this out and then put a connecting piece in between there to shore it up. Uh, it's all ready to go. The engines are ready to go. I think we're ready. You can see I puttied up the holes there where the formation lights were before. So I'm going to be putting fiber optic in there. <clears throat> Just because those holes are way too big for a ship of that size. So. Once that's all dried, re-drill the holes after I paint it, and then, uh, yeah, it'll be ready for fiber optic lines, but that's still ways down the road. Okay, I'm going to be cutting along this line here, so it, uh, and then I'll have to make, once these are separated, I'll have to build uh, a new, uh, bridge here to connect these two, reconnect them again. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, I got the wires out from the, the edge there, both sides, so it won't interfere with the, the cutting. And okay, let's get this cut off. There we go. Alright. Looks good. So now this will go on upside down. Be kind of like this. And then this goes somewhere up here like this. But I see, I still got to build a, a, a framework here. And that goes on like that. Okay, before we do anything with this, I want to get the lighting grid built for the primary saucer. Okay, so I'm going to have these here, styrene strips, going to be using to build the, uh, the framework for the lighting. Okay, so with the, uh, the framework, it's going to be about so high. It'll be like in a triangular framework with the lights going around in all directions. So I'm going to start with the legs first that hold up the framework. So it'll be one, two, three, four, 
five and uh, six. Okay, I'm going to be starting off with the feet first. I got them measured out to uh, one and a half centimeters each, and I need uh, seven of them. So for my American watchers out there, one and a half centimeters is about a half an inch. Alright, well these don't have to be perfect level and all that, they're just, they're going to be inside the ship. Now I got to use my glue gun and glue it there. One there, one there, one there, here, here, and here. And then I put the framework on over top. to do the rest of the framework all right these uh, braces are all ready to go just got to glue them in place and the framework is finished Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to look pretty. It's it's inside the ship. You'll never see it. I also have extra hull decklings for the Enterprise D, which I'm going to be using on this ship as well. That's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we're going to begin lighting the uh, primary hull here and getting other section of the ship ready for lighting as well. So please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and please check out my online store, the link is down below. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at modelbuilder501 at yahoo.ca. Thanks again, bye bye.